So I recently came back from Iceland and I've shot a bunch of footage using my iPhone 14 Pro that I wanna to use to create an awesome Instagram reel. Specifically, I'll be creating a three layer video effect, which is a great way to show multiple clips in one frame. And in this video, I thought it would be a good idea to show you guys how I do it using Final Cut Pro. Now I've already airdropped the clip onto my computer and also imported it into Final Cut Pro so that we can start from there and work our way up. So these are the three clips we will be using to create our three layer video effect. This works really well if you shot your video in a 16 by nine format. And the first thing we're gonna do is create a new project. So I'm gonna right click on the event, select new project, and I'm gonna name my project three layer uh, video tutorial. And I'm gonna make sure the video format is set to vertical since we will be uploading that uh, onto Instagram or TikTok. And the resolution will be 4K. And the frame rate I'll be using is 25 frames per second since I've shot those videos in 25 frames per second and then hit OK. And then you will get a timeline that looks something like this. And the next thing we're gonna do is actually create a gap so that we can layer our clips on top of each other. And to create a gap, I'll simply select option V, and then I'm gonna select one of the clips. This will be at the bottom and drag it on top of this gap. I'm gonna extend this gap all the way till the end. So now we have something that looks like this. And the next thing I'm gonna do is add an overlay it will help as our guide. And I've already imported an overlay that I created myself, which I will leave for you to download in the video description below. So I'm gonna head over to view and then I'm gonna choose custom overlay and that would be the three layer video. Okay, and then I have something like this. I'm gonna reduce the opacity. I'm gonna to head to view and then choose 50%. This way I can see the clips. And then I can simply just trim out the fat or the bad parts of the clip. So I want the clip to start here. I'm gonna cut it. And I want the clip to, let's say, end here. Okay. All right, so I've trimmed the clip and you'll see that it looks blown out. That, that is because I've shot it in HDR, so I'm gonna convert that. I'm gonna head over to the search tool and then type in HDR. Then I'm gonna add the HDR tool onto that clip. And then up here in the HDR tool menu, I'm gonna select HLG to Rec 709 and that will convert it to a normal looking clip. Now, because we have our overlay, it looks kind of weird. So I can turn that off and you'll see that it looks normal. So let's add the overlay back. The next thing I can do is select the transform tool and I'm gonna drag this below this line over here and I want it to match with this line up here, so I'm gonna make it larger. And there we have it. Now I know that learning how to create these reels inside Final Cut Pro does take time, especially if you're new to it. So if you're looking to speed up the process, I highly recommend you check out Motion Array, which is our sponsor of today's video. It's a great place to find high quality templates that you can instantly use. They have a huge collection of templates, which are pre-made video files that you can download and use in your preferred editing software. They make it super easy to find as you can use the search function as well as the filter option to narrow down your search. Let's say we are in need of a vertical video. You can choose the orientation, select the template of your choice, download it, drag it into your editing software, choose the video you wish to add the template, change the text, and you now have an awesome looking vertical video that you can share with your audience, whether it's for Instagram, TikTok, or YouTube. This way you don't have to create your own design from scratch and use Motionary's template to speed up the process. Now on top of that, they also have stock footage, which can be helpful if you need certain shots you can't get, well as royalty-free music and sound effects. So 
it's really a platform where you can find everything in one place. It's membership based, so you have unlimited downloads and you don't have to worry about copyright issues as they will cover everything. You can sign up for their yearly plan or just use the monthly plan, which is great. And you can cancel anytime if you feel like it's no longer needed. I highly recommend you check out Motionary and explore their creative assets to help you work faster, easier, and make your videos look more professional. So with that said, let's continue with our video. So I'm now gonna select the second clip, which is this one, starting from here. And then I can simply uh, click and drag to the right to select my in and out point. I want this to be a little bit longer. Okay, and then I'm gonna drag it on top of the timeline. Gonna reduce the volume and I'm gonna drag this to the left and then I can drag the HDR tool onto this clip and then convert it. And then again, I'm gonna transform it, uh, make it larger. And that's it. And then I'm gonna select my third clip, which is this one over here. And I'm gonna drag it Drag it on top, reduce the volume, and then I'm gonna use the transform tool again to drag this on top. I'm gonna make it a bit larger. And again, I'm gonna add the HDR tool and convert it and there we have our three clips. The next thing I'm gonna do is remove the overlay. And this actually looks really great already. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is color grade uh, all three clips. Now I'm not gonna show you how to do that because I have a bunch of tutorials already showing you how I do it. But when it comes to creating these three layer videos, I recommend you color grade each clip first before you create this three layer effect, it will just be easier. So I've now color graded the clip. This is the before and after. So a really nice color grade that makes the video pop more. And that is my secret sauce. So if you guys wanna know how to make your footage pop and look cinematic, make sure to check out my color grading tutorial. And the LUTs I used are my premium mobile LUTs specifically made for smartphones that you can get as well. The link will be in the video description below. Now, if you want, you can add some music or you can add the music once you've uploaded it as a story on Instagram. And to export our video, you can head up here and then select export file. And then let's head over to settings and then for the best quality possible, uh, I choose Apple device uh, because I will be airdropping it afterwards onto my iPhone 14 Pro and then upload it from there onto my Instagram account. And then as the video codec, I will be choosing H.264, better quality. And the resolution will be 1216 by 2160. And that's really all there is. Simply select next and save it onto your folder. And what's great about using Final Cut Pro is that it gives you all these export options for a high quality video in the end when uploading it onto Instagram. As you can see, creating a three layer video inside of Final Cut Pro is pretty easy and can really take your reels to the next level. Now, I hope you found this video helpful. And if you're serious about wanting to learn how to create a cinematic and professional looking videos with your phone, make sure to check out smartphonefilmmaking.com. The link will be in the video description below. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys the next time.